but judging by these clouds, I'm racing the rain, and I hope to God I don't get rained down because that's the way I'm going, and this isn't in a waterproof case. So today's little story is uh, about this bike, actually, and uh, how it caught on fire. Now, I say that, it wasn't like fully involved in fire. Let me just get that straight off the bat. Something was smoking. Like, there was a good plume of smoke coming out of the back of my bike. I had no idea, right? So, I'm just riding down the road. I'm about to go home. I gotta sneeze again. Hang on. I'll be back. Does anybody else have to sneeze whenever the cold air, like, gets inside your nose? Because it's right now, it's like 64 degrees out right now. So, I'm a little chilly. I'm in a t-shirt under this. But, uh, back to the story at hand. So, I was riding to the gas station. I was going to fill up the bike before I went to my friend's party. Pretty much on the other side of the county, right? So it's about a 45, 48 minute ride, something like that. But, uh, ooh, that was an apple. Um, so many things distracting me! What the fuck was I saying? Oh yeah, it's like a 48 minute ride to the other side of the county where they were having the party, right? She was moving like three hours away, so. Um, I was gonna go fill up the bike and now I was gonna go on this because it was like, you know, 85 degrees out and I don't feel like taking my fucking truck. I don't feel like taking my truck that sucks down gas like a, like a whore. So as I was going to the gas station, I caught the yellow light, so I started slowing down. And uh, this car was like riding my ass, but I didn't have, I, I couldn't hear anything because I had my music on. But he said he was honking at me and waving at me. I saw him waving at me, so I was like, what the fuck is going on? So I turned around, I noticed this massive plume of white smoke coming out of the back of my bike, like under the passenger seat. So, go figure, I immediately pull over instead of pulling into the gas station like an idiot, because something's not right. So I pull over to the side of the road and it's smoking and I smell it. And it, you know that ozone smell when like electrical's burning? I don't know if any of you smelled burning electric, but it's got, it's got a, like a very distinct electric burning smell. Immediately called 911. So the guy actually went over to the gas station and uh, he, he drove over to the gas station and just stole the fire extinguisher that was on the side of the building. And uh, I ended up putting it out with that by the time the fire department got there. But I know all the guys on the fire department, but I'm in a, I'm in a different fire department, but I know all the guys on the fire department. So by the time they got there, they're all like, you know, all my guys were calling me. Like joking around, ha ha, because I was just close to where I live. They were joking around, like, ha ha, is your bike on fire yet? And I was like, yeah, it actually is. They're like, oh shit, I'm on the way. So I had like two or three of them show up. And then the fire truck rolled up, and of course, all the guys I know are on there. And they're like, they're like, oh man, we're so sorry. You know, I, I didn't think it was you. It was like, one guy said it was either you or the other guy in our department. Sure enough, it was you. Yeah, so they ended up just coming. I had it out by that time. I took the passenger seat off. The, the actual seat that I'm sitting on right now is held on by uh, Allen keys. And I didn't have any on me. And the hardware store, you know, decided to change its hours so I couldn't just go borrow any. So uh, they ended up just coming, took that seat off, checked all the wiring. There was, I didn't realize how fucked up. So pro tip, when you buy something used, check all the fucking wiring. I didn't honk the horn. The regular horn still works. But the guy hooked up a compressor and air horns. Like not like, you know, truck horn air horns, but like air horns. I don't know why, but he did. Yeah, so we hooked up air horns to this fucking thing. It was fucking wires just hanging out everywhere. They weren't even capped off or taped off or anything, just loose wires hanging out everywhere. It was fucking grounds, to I don't know what. There was a phone charger that was cut apart in there. Like half the shit was wired up with speaker wire. It was a fucking mess. There's a pair of pliers in there rattling around by all the fuses, so that was probably a great idea. There was a quarter under the battery. So I thought I fixed it the first time. No, I didn't fix it. So I didn't end up fixing it the first time. Took all the plastics off, started rewiring everything, right? Working through all these wires, fucking taping off loose ends, you know, putting wires back where they should be and cutting out a whole bunch of bullshit that didn't need to be on there. So my friend that lives a couple doors, couple doors down from me, he actually showed up when the bike was on fire. He calls me, he goes, yo, you get the bike running? Yeah, I was like, yeah, kind of, yeah, I just finished off capping, like finished capping everything off and rewiring a bunch of shit. Like I just gotta throw the battery back in it and we'll see. So he goes, all right, cool, let's hit the bar. All right, you know what? I'm gonna go have a beer because this bike just completely fucking ruined my mood, right? Nope. I get halfway down the road, he takes off, my dash turns off, this was at zero, that just off, like the, like you turn the key off, oh god, oh my god, 
I feel a burp coming. Oh god, the burp is like right there, but it's like on the verge of burp or like throw up in your mouth. So you get halfway down the road, right? Everything turns off. The bike's still riding, like I could like it was like I could twist the throttle and it would still go like that. And then all of a sudden I felt it like bogging out and dying down. I fucking goosed it as hard as I could until it died, pulled in the clutch. I pulled at least I got to a the gravel pull up on the side of the road. The minute I got off the bike, I smelled the fucking electrical burning smell again. Ended up being uh, the voltage regulator went bad on the uh, on the bike. So that was overdrawing on the battery, which was actually melting the. That's why it wasn't on on fire technically, because it was just melting the uh, the coating on the wires. It wasn't on fire, but the uh, coating on the wires, the rubber sheathing, ended up just like kind of sizzling off pretty much. That and the electrical tape. So that's that's what was actually like burning off. It was was that. Bought a new voltage regulator, put that in. Bought a new battery, put that in. But yeah. So I was actually riding it when it was lighting itself on fire like an asshole. That was fucking phenomenal best experience of my life at least it didn't happen when it was just sitting in the garage i can say i can say that the bike is still you know everything's still salvageable there was um there was a couple scorch marks on the white plastics in the rear like from the i guess from the wire smoke or whatever the hell it was it was like black the black soot like scorch marks and then all the dry chem from the uh all the dry chem from the uh, fire extinguisher. But, you know, the air compressor and a wet rag got all that out, so. I mean, it, it worked for it lighting on fire. It worked out probably the best way it could have. Nobody got hurt. Bike didn't get totaled. Bike didn't get lost. It was still, you know, it's still rideable, obviously. Ooh. Nice. Get some old gasolina. I'm gonna record as much as I can and stretch it out over the winter. That way I'm just not gone forever. Alrighty then. This light never senses people anyway. making videos because I don't remember where I left off thankfully nobody got hurt thankfully the bikes okay just be careful when you buy used shit you know preferential parking all right this camera's about to die so let's try and finish this up and stop getting sidetracked but that never happens with me you know that I honestly have no idea where I left it but I'm just gonna leave it <laughs> So if it ended kind of abruptly, oops, but, you know, I'm not fully there, so I do my best. We do our best. My best is just a little bit less than everybody else's.